it says broken yolk. I don't know why it was low. It was just kind of a bowl, bowl, a bowl, bowl, a bowl, bowl, a bowl, bowl. So tired. I got up at three. To... Jeez, wake up the damn neighborhood. Can I hire your dog to dig? <laughs> getting gas. I guess they just leave the pumps open all night long. So we're getting gas and then we're going to go right over there and beat Destin right there at the Choke and Puke or whatever that says broken yolk. Not quite a chicken thing. So we're going to where are we going today? Pacific Beach but down to the yeah, north, of, north, north of PV. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say that, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's Papa Bear. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're in Northern California. We're going to, uh, actually, we're in Florida. We're going to Palm Beach. <laughs> it was a long drive. We'll see you when we get down there. Well, across the street over there, this white car, some foreign job, is flashing its lights. There's some little jackass, there's a double D in that car. And we ain't talking breasts. Yeah. D D D. He thinks he's funny. Those things are blind. Actually, there's there's a person. They're humping in the front seat, and the person keeps leaning against the light switch. Now you know that. That's Dustin. Yeah, I think. Oh, okay, okay. I I just I keep seeing the car moving around, and every time it did it, the lights went on. I just figured. Yeah, that's, that's, that's so that's name. Dustin. Oh, he's just letting us know he's over there. That's our Got it. Dustin. Yeah. Okay. On at the choke and puke. Good morning, buddy. Good morning, Ross. How are you? Um, sleep good? I'm tired. I got up at three. To... Jeez, wake up the damn neighborhood. Well, I didn't film anything yet. We're down here at the beach. Dustin's back there. Tony's way back there. But I haven't had any signals, really. I got one dime and some cans, and I just figured I'd come up here and go around this trench, and I got a signal right there that nulled on my machine. But I thought, well, I'll dig it anyway, and I dug it, and back up here. It was this chain with this, uh, Get my hand out of this thing. Like a damn breastplate. But anyway, that's the first target I got other than a dime. So, got a chain of some kind. There I dug a dime on that side, and then right there I just got a grunty low tone. 
And I think I just dug a silver ring. I don't know why it was low. It was just kind of a ball, ball. So I don't know. It's a. Uh, I don't know. How's that look to be in silver? Well, I just looked inside. It's kind of cruddy in there. Been there a while, but it is 925. So silver. Got one. Well, I just found probably the smallest silver ring I've ever found. Check this out. That thing is so tiny. And it actually looks, I don't know what's on it, looks like a football helmet. But it's, I see hearts on the sides. The little things right here is a heart, and I don't know what that thing is in the middle. It looks like a blind me I am. It looks like a football helmet, but that's, I'm sure that's not what it is. But anyway, so I got two little, two silver rings. This would be the smallest one I've ever found before. Anyway, on to the next. Got a signal here that was something that didn't sound like crap. And I dug it, and it's a freaking weedy. You can barely see it says one cent. But it's freaking toast, man. You can't even tell what the other side is. It's just gone. Look how thin that thing is. But it's a weedy, but it ain't much of one. Well, everyone, there's some sailboats in the background. I haven't dug crap in an hour. One quarter walking along. Way back there. Tony's way back over there. So I'm going to head to the stairs that are back towards him. And I'm out of here. So we'll see you maybe at the wrap up. I don't got, uh, got a couple of little silver rings. You saw them. But uh, not a whole lot today. All right, well, parting shot, end of some pier. I don't know what pier. Cool little bungalows up there on them, though. it would be cool to stay in one of those for a while. Anyway, we'll see you later. Bye. Good morning, everybody. This is a wrap-up from uh, Sunday's hunt down at uh, San Diego with Tony and Dustin. Uh, went to Pacific Beach. And it wasn't wasn't all wasn't a lot of targets. Um, just uh, the one end where I was found in a, finding a few things. It was really rocky and impossible to dig. Um, it wasn't like the other places where the rocks were kind of small. These were big boulders, and so every time you stuck your scoop in the ground, it just donk and just stopped right into a rock. So it was it was a it was a tough dig down there, and there wasn't a lot of targets. But uh, what I did find was, I don't know, some pieces and parts to whatever. I don't know what these things are. Um, found this whole set of keys together, but they're falling apart now. They were all on one ring. Piece of a cell phone board. I don't know, a little mouthpiece to a miniature trumpet. I don't know. I don't know what that is. The cap, brass cap off of a lighter or something. I don't know. Scared me when I found it. I thought I found a ring. Like, woo, nothing. A big ring. No big deal. I think this is an arm off of a pair of sunglasses, like the piece that goes down the side or something. Not really sure. Um, this little flat tin piece was folded like a taco and I unfolded it to see if there's anything written on it but there's not I had uh, one one two three four five six seven pennies these two are glued together welded together uh, one two three four five five dimes a quarter and one weedy that's you could tell it's a weedy by the back I don't know, let me put this on, maybe you can see it, it's uh, 
I can just make out the head. Oh, flashlight's not hanging up there. You can just barely see it says one cent. It's pretty shot though. Found this thing, this necklace thing, kind of early in the day, and I thought, oh, it's going to be a good day, but it's, you know, it's just a chain with the breastplate on it, I guess. I don't know. I <laughs> uh, found this silver ring. Bunch of O's all hooked together. It's marked 925 in there somewhere right there I don't know I don't know if this camera can you can see it the mark down in there and then the smallest thinnest tiniest little ring I've ever found in my life this thing see if I can open up this here window and shed a little more light on this subject this thing is almost non-existent it's got two little hearts on it and I haven't figured out what that thing is yet. It's a. Uh, it's got little hearts right there, but that thing. I don't know what that is. But this sucker is thin and tiny. Anyway. That was my hunt Sunday. Had a good time. Those guys are fun to, to hunt with, but it would have been better if we found a few targets and done a little bit more videotaping of some decent stuff. Wasn't a whole lot out there. It was just kind of kind of a slow day. So until the next time I get out, which I don't know when it'll be, you all take care. Be safe, good luck, and happy hunting, and I'll see you later. Oops, sorry for my fingers in the way. Bye.